let me show you girls how to transform your hair, get you popping, get you looking right for your man, for your date night, whatever the case may be. And I be feeling like you're saying, I, you know all the best I so hello you guys and welcome back to my channel all things ray i am super excited to show you guys how i got this gorgeous natural looking ponytail on my head so with that being said without further ado keep hanging on keep you know watching the video because i am about to show you guys how i made this magic happen and I'm also about to hurry and put my do-rag back on before my edges won't be laid for tomorrow. So, I will go ahead and get the video popping for you guys. And um, follow me on Instagram because I will go ahead and start posting photos of your girl with her face beat looking cute with this hair style going on. And, um, yeah, I can't wait to see you guys in, the, in my next video. And if you make it to the end of this video... I don't know. I'll insert something towards the end of the video to let me know if you made it to the end of this video. But, yep. Mm -hmm. Let me show you girls how to transform your hair, get you popping, get you looking right for your man, for your date night, whatever the case may be. And I am done talking because, like I said, I got to hurry and put my do-rag on because y'all naturals know in about 10 more minutes, it ain't going to be that cute no more for tomorrow. So, yeah. So, hey, you guys, let's go ahead and get this thing popping. Um, so if you can see, I had two, you know, I call them my Harriet Tubman twist. <laughs> okay, so I have two of those in my head. And I'm actually just taking them a loose to just get my hair prepared um, for the style. And it actually works because it does stretch my hair out just a little bit to make it easier to pull it back into a little, a little bun bun. So today I'll be using... Um, scrunchies of course you know to keep my hair separated a rat tail comb for parting a wide tooth comb for like detangling and then i'll also be using the murray's edge wax extreme hold because lord knows i need the extreme hold okay and then i'll also be using the eco styler gel argan oil because i love that one it's the only one that really works for me and lays my hair down don't really understand that but okay and then the bumba um senegalese twist um pack of hair and actually it's crochet hair so it came um twisted already pre-twisted so I took it apart so you can see here I'm going to go ahead and part my hair um you know wherever you'd like to part it now I myself am not the master parter I'm just gonna put that out there I'm not gonna set myself up for failure to get these high expectations because sometimes my parting can be a little off um, but, you know, if you don't have that problem and God blessed you with the ability to get yourself a perfect part, then, you know, hey, roll with it, girl, roll with it. So I think I'm just trying to straighten it up a little bit better now, though. So there we go. Um, sometimes I wear my part on the side. Sometimes I wear it in the middle. Um, and so, yeah, so once you have your part, I just kind of section off the rest of my hair to get it out the way. So as you can see here, I am just putting a clip on one side and then I'll also put a scrunchie I believe on this side and um, in the back to make it easier oh my bad y'all so I guess I felt like I needed to part the back of my head off so I guess that's what I'm doing right here I did not know when doing a voiceover and trying to rewatch the video you just kind of roll with the punches so anyways apparently I straightened the back part of my head all out and um now I'm putting it away with scrunchies and clips um and sometimes too if I can't get my hand on a clip or a bobby pin or I mean if I can't get my hand on a clip or a scrunchie I sometimes will just you know use a bobby pin whichever works best to just get the hair out the way really All right, so we're all sectioned and parted off. Now let's work with the back section first. So I am going to be taking a little spray bottle of water and um, and it's like mixed with conditioner and I'll just be spraying that on my hair. And you don't want it too damp. I mean, I guess if you're trying to be able to wear this the next day, for me at least, I didn't want my hair too damp because it would take forever for like the gel to, you know, help mold my hair down. So I try not to get it too too wet 
Um, I go ahead and detangle it out from the bottom, working my way up to the top, um, just to make sure, you know, it's going to be no kinks in it and hopefully lay as flat as possible. Um, and so that's what I'm doing here. And next, make sure you have a brush for this. I mean, this is vital. We're laying down our ponytail. We're slicking our hair back. Okay, so first things first, after you have your brush, I actually go in with my gel, my Eco Styler gel. I love the Argan Oil one, like I mentioned earlier, and I just like pack this all on the back of my hair. Um, and I think too, as with it being in sections, it makes it a lot better because um, the back of my hair is a lot shorter than the front because my hair is tapered cut. So it actually um, works better to get my hair laying flat when I do it this way. So I just put the gel on it and then I go in with the brush and I just, you know, smooth it down, get it as smooth as possible. And I do this for uh, just until it feels flat. And then I go in and take my scrunchie. After I, oh. <laughs> after I finish brushing, I go in and I end up putting my scrunchie on this back section, which you'll see in a minute. Alright, so now while that is in place, now we move on to the front, which is like super vital, super key. Like, if your front is jacked up, then you might as well just cancel the whole hairstyle. Um, so I really, you know, when I do focus on the front, I go ahead and just dampen the section a little bit. Again, I don't want my hair soaking wet because it will take forever to dry for the next day and nobody wants that. So... Um, I go in, I get a little water, I detangle, and pardon me, I'm, my nephew is in the background sleeping on my bed, so I just want to make sure, like, he was knocked out and not moving um, while I'm filming this. So, I go and take the Murray's Edge Wax, um, which you'll, I'll hold up in a minute. And so this right here, y'all, this extreme hold is like the way of life the way my natural hair is set up. So I take this and I literally like, it's thick. So I take like a big glob of it. It's probably the best way for me to put that. And I like pack it on my edges, on, along the part line. Um, and so you'll see. And you see how like thick it is? It's like super tacky. Like there's no way for your edges not to lay with this stuff. Okay, so once I have it in the ponytail, um, obviously you can see here I'm just trying to make sure I get it as flat as possible. So it's okay if you have to brush a couple times, you know, to make sure it's flat, flat. Listen, 
do whatever you need to do, honey, because we want these, <laughs> we want this slick back ponytail laid and slayed, okay? So um, I go ahead and put my scrunchie on it, and then, of course, I go ahead and do the same thing to the other side. Um, and so, actually, since you guys already see me do this one side, you won't really have to... I don't really have to talk you through the other side, but it's literally the same concept, same exact thing. So I'll speed up through it. Okay, so as you can see here, um, I pretty much have all the hair that's going to be in the ponytail in the ponytail at this point. I'm kind of just going through and like putting more gel or more edge, um, edge wax or whatever on my hair to make sure the baby hairs and the flyaways are going to lay down because I am going to tie my hair up. So essentially this will be like super duper flat in the morning when I show you guys what it looks like after I wake up. Um, and so yeah, that's all I'm doing here. Okay, so what we need to do now is put our do-rag on, ladies. Okay, this is literally going to be the lifesaver between laid edges and then your hair curling up and looking crazy tomorrow morning when you get up in the morning. So I simply just go ahead and continue to, you know, rub my hair, make sure it's all slicked down before I put my do-rag on. Um, I spray a little bit of water just so it can stay damp because that helps with laying the hair down as well um, once it dries. And so I just spray a little bit of water and then I go into actually putting the do-rag on. And so, um, oh, I see this little piece. So I actually go ahead and slick down some more edge wax on it so that it can actually, you know, be laid and slayed tomorrow morning when I get up. And yeah. And so as you see here, I go through and follow up on my edges as well. Um, cause we really want those to be snatched and laid. And I believe I'm, think I probably put a bobby pin where that piece of hair keeps coming up at. Um, again, a lot of it just does 
kind of bear with me because of the fact that my hair is taper cut. So not all of the pieces of hair will officially reach the scrunchie yet. But, you know, pray for me because, you know, <laughs> I believe in growth. OK, God is doing new things and he's going to help my hair grow. You hear me? Um, so, yeah. So while I do this, I know y'all remember me at the beginning of the video saying if you make it to the end of this video, comment something. So if you have made it to just about the end of this video, or at least this far, um, comment like your favorite emoji in the comment section. Um, and while you're at it, go ahead and like, comment, and subscribe too. Okay, so as you can see right here, I have gone ahead and started putting on my do-rag. Like I said, this is essential and vital to the edges and your hair being laid to slick back your ponytail. Once I put my do-rag on, I'm actually going to go ahead and um, get my hair prepared to make the ponytail with. So I take the hair. Um, we're going to open it up. Okay, so once I have the hair open, as you can see, it came, like I said, pre-crocheted. So I'm actually just taking, lo looping my finger through the top and just pulling them apart to, you know, separate the twist. And this curl pattern was like perfect because it looks so natural um, up against my hair once, you know, my waves and stuff have settled in. Um, and it just looks like, you know, it looks very natural. It's not too shiny. Um, and it actually held up pretty good as well. So I just pull them apart, as you can see. Once I separate all of the hair, I take a scrunchie and I loop it through the middle of all of the hair, as you can see. I have it sped up so we're not here all day trying to see this. And so once I loop it through, I just kind of fluff it out and boom, we have our ponytail, ladies. And I actually try and make it, you know, fluffy and look as natural and Afro-y like as possible. Um, and of course, over time, the older your hair, the, the older the hair gets, the better it looks. Um, and so, yeah, that's pretty much all I do. As you can see here, I go in with the comb. I go crazy. And, you know, it's starting to look a little more natural as I play with it. I bump my head on the door. And then I take it, measure it up to make sure it's even, looking natural. I kept the shorter pieces at the top, longer pieces at the bottom, just because naturally when you pull your hair back, that's what your hair does, depending on if your hair is cut in layers. And then I just simply, I take off the do-rag. As you can see, we are, you know, the slaying is starting to come into full play. And I attack, actually will take the scrunchie and loop it around my little baby, my little baby bun in the back of my head. Um... So that's what I'm doing here. And then I fluff it out and then bam, okay? We have a natural looking ponytail. And it's gonna look even better once you wake up in the morning and um, you know, go on about your business throughout the day. I go ahead and add Bobby's pins in it for extra security because we don't want our hair blowing off in the wind and we don't want anyone snatching it off our head depending on what activities we got going on, whatever we're doing. You know, you just want to be safe. You don't want to be out here looking crazy, okay? So I put my bobby pins in it to secure it, and then I fluff it out a little bit more. And then once I put enough bobby pins in it, I actually will end up taking a piece and eventually wrapping it around the ponytail just to make sure, you know, it looks as natural as possible and, you know, just looks like my hair. But I think it's really beautiful, pretty hair. Um, It was cheap. I think the pack of hair might have been like, three bucks three or four bucks and it beats buying an actual fake ponytail because the fake ponytails are super shiny super just you can tell so as you can see i'm wrapping the hair around um to keep it looking natural putting another bobby pin in it and then boom we have a ponytail ladies and gentlemen if you're watching yeah, I hope you guys really enjoyed this tutorial on my ponytail and I cannot wait to see you guys in my next video. Bye.